morning children. I'm very happy that all the students are watching the video eagerly. Already we have completed five lessons, isn't it? Today we are going to learn lesson six. Air, okay? Before going into the lesson, I'd like to share a few words connected to this lesson, okay? Listen carefully how I'm pronouncing, okay? First one is blanket. First word is blanket. Second word is atmosphere. Third one is climbing. Climbing. Fourth one, aeroplane. Fifth one, carbon dioxide. Sixth one, nitrogen. Sixth one, nitrogen. Seventh one, vehicles. Eighth word, factories. Ninth one, Cement. Tenth one, garbage. I like to repeat one more time. Listen carefully how I'm pronouncing. Okay. First word, blanket. Second word, atmosphere. Third word, climbing. Fourth one, aeroplane. Fifth one, carbon dioxide. Sixth one, nitrogen. Seventh word, vehicles. Eighth one, factories. Ninth one, cement. Tenth word is garbage. Okay. Now moving on into the lesson. What's the title of the lesson? Air. Air is all around us. The whole earth is covered by a blanket of air called atmosphere. What is it called? It's called atmosphere. The blanket of air surrounding the earth is called atmosphere. When we go higher and higher, the air gets thinner. When we go higher and higher, the air gets thinner. The air gets thinner when we go up higher, isn't it? This makes breathing difficult on higher mountains. This makes breathing difficult on higher mountains. That's why people climbing on high mountains carry air with them. Why does people carry air with them? Because when we go higher and higher, the air will get thin now. So they are carrying air with them. Okay, as we learn that when we go higher and higher, air gets thinner and finally there is no air. And finally there is no air. The place outside the earth's atmosphere is called the space. What is space? The place outside the earth's atmosphere is called space. Okay? Next topic we are going to learn is how air is useful. How air is useful. living beings need air, isn't it? Actually, we need a gas called oxygen. A gas called oxygen. This gas is present in air. When we breathe in air, when we breathe in, air goes into our lungs and the lungs take in oxygen from air. Okay? You can look at the picture. Okay? See? This is air which goes into our body through lungs. Can you see it? Yes. When we, okay, when we breathe in, when we breathe in, air goes into our lungs. 
and this lungs take the oxygen from the air okay air helps us in another very important way what is it it helps things burn it helps things burn you are in bed it helps things burn nothing would burn without air nothing would burn without air again it is the oxygen in air that is useful for burning okay air helps in another very important uh, way what is that it helps in burning it helps things to burn okay. without air nothing can burn okay. without air nothing can burn again okay. it is the oxygen in air that is useful for burning it is the oxygen in air that is useful for burning air is a mixture of gases air is a mixture of gases other than oxygen there are many gases in air what are they one is carbon dioxide and another is nitrogen carbon dioxide carbon dioxide and nitrogen what are the gases in the air we saw that air is a mixture of gases isn't it air is a mixture of gases other than there are many gases in it other than oxygen what are they they are carbon dioxide and another is nitrogen carbon dioxide and nitrogen carbon dioxide is a very important for plants okay carbon dioxide is very important for plants plants use carbon dioxide to make food carbon dioxide is very important for plants to prepare their food plants to prepare their food carbon dioxide is needed for plants to prepare their food okay and plants use some of this uh, food to live and store the rest plant use some of this food to live and store the rest and when we eat that plant we use the stored food we use when we eat that plants we you eat the stored food okay plant eating animals like what are the plant eating animals like goats and deer and cows also get this food from plants so without air there would be no food so air is a very essential thing without air there would be no food you can look at the picture see this plants use carbon dioxide to make food plants use carbon dioxide to make food and they store some of the food they make is to the store some of the food that makes next air has water vapor in it too that's why you can see the droplets of water outside a glass of cold water and the air near the glass cools and the water vapor in it changes to water look at the picture what is the picture so means air carries clouds that bring rain air carries clouds that brings us rain and most of the water vapor in air comes from the seas most of the air uh, most of the water vapor in air comes from the seas and when the water vapor rises and meets cold air it forms cloud how clouds are formed when the water vapor rises and meets the cold air the clouds are formed 
Wind carries clouds from the sea to the land. Winds carry clouds from the sea to the land. So another job of air is to carry clouds that bring rain. Next topic we are going to see is how the air gets dirty. How air gets dirty. As we have already um, seen in this previous session that air is a mixture of gases, isn't it? It's, um, uh, it's filled with nitrogen, uh, carbon dioxide, etc. But it has, uh, air, it has small bits of solids floating in it. Air also has small bits of solids floating in it. It has also dust and tiny bits of plants etc. Or it smoke and also root. Okay. It has small bits of solids floating in it. It also has dust and tiny bits of plants and smoke and also so, how is smoke formed? How is smoke formed? Smoke is formed when we burn something. When we burn something, smoke is formed, isn't it? For example, when we burn the garbage, smoke is formed. Or when we fire crackers, smoke is formed. And vehicles which run by burning petrol or diesel causes smoke and also factories causes uh, smoke. What is a suit? What is a suit? S-O-O-T suit. What is a suit? Suit is nothing but tiny unburnt pieces from burning stuff. When we burn something, the smoke and the dust will be coming, it's will be flying in the air and mixing in the air. Okay, so it's nothing but tiny unburnt, which is not burnt, unburnt pieces, small pieces from the burning stuff. It's called as soot. Smoke, soot and dust makes air dirty. What are the things which makes air dirty? Soot, smoke and the dust. Soot, smoke, soot, uh, smoke and the dust makes air dirty. nothing but the tiny unburned pieces from the burning stuff is called as soot okay and when we breathe in this uh, dirty air or the or, uh, um, burning smoke we get all kinds of diseases okay when we breathe in this dirty air we get all kinds of diseases now how can we keep the air clean how can we keep the air clean? There are some steps we can follow to keep the air clean. Okay, first step. We can trees, as we know that trees trap. Uh, trap means to absorb a lot of dust. And so planting trees is one of the way to keep the air clean. First one is planting trees. First one is planting trees. You can plant trees so that you can uh, it can uh, trap the dust in the air. 
second one you can uh, keep the factories away from the towns or cities you can keep the factories not nearby cities or uh, towns you can keep it away from the towns and this is another way of keeping the air clean and then the third one is burning garbage makes the uh, air dirty so it can uh, garbage can be buried and not be burned okay so it's better to bury it than to burning it these are the uh, few steps uh, you can follow to keep the air clean okay and that's it and for a just recap what all we learned we learned um, that's the usefulness of air air is all around us okay what is the layer of uh, air surrounding the earth is called it's called as atmosphere and when you go higher and higher the it gets thinner okay and uh, next we study what is the space this place outside the earth's atmosphere is called as space what is space the place outside the earth's atmosphere is called as space and um, how air is useful without living uh, without air living beings cannot live okay all living beings need air to live okay so what is actually uh, we need a gas what is the gas name gas is called as oxygen okay and air helps in another uh, important way it helps in to things burn it helps things to burn and air is a mixture of gases what are the gases present in air they are the nitrogen and carbon dioxide okay and carbon dioxide is a very uh, important for plants to grow plants use carbon dioxide uh, to make food yes and also plants uh, plants um, use some of these foods to live and to store the rest okay and how next uh, point we learned is how air gets dirty how air gets dirty as we already learned that air is a mixture of gases isn't it and um, uh, in air it has uh, small bits of solids floating in it and it is also uh, has dust uh, and uh, smoke and also soot what is a soot soot is nothing but uh, tiny unburned pieces from burning stuff okay that's it for today children and uh, for your homework learn the spellings and uh, learn page number 32 33 and 34 okay thank you children